Hey guys, welcome to the Musings of Maverick channel. I'm your host Maverick, and right now we're going to be watching a new anime, Shometsu Toshi. So, for any of you guys who are new here, let me quickly explain. My videos are normally set into three different parts. The first part is where I talk about um, either an introduction, if it's the first episode, or a quick recap of past episodes, if it's an ongoing series. The middle part would be my blind reaction, and at the very end, I will have my discussion and review session, my musings. So, that's there will all be timestamped below, so you can just jump to whichever part that you want. Now, on to this anime. So, this anime is actually an adaption from a game, and the basic premise of it, as far as I can know, as I can tell, is that a city was apparently uh, suddenly disappeared one day, and so it evol revolves around the mystery uh, surrounding this event. In fact, the name of this title, Shometsu Toshi, literally means um, destroyed city or erased city, something of that sort. Uh, so the game itself actually came out in 2014, so five years now, and it's fairly well regarded. Uh, since the synopsis for this was a little bit vague, I just went in and took a look at what exactly the game was about. So apparently, because, like, come on, it's if it's really just a it's just a game where. Uh, you try to solve mysteries and whatnot. How can it uh, last for so long? But no, actually, it has an entire gacha system as well, where you pay to, you know, draw cards of lots of different characters. They have lots of different abilities, so you can form your own teams and parties and whatnot. And you also do battle with monsters and other organizations, so on and so forth. So there's definitely going to be action in this series. That much I can say. It's not just a pure uh, mystery solving. Uh, drama. So there is that part. Uh, you know, it is an animation adapted from a game, and we all know how those are. They are normally not that good. Uh, they're mostly just used as sort of an advertisement for the game for the most part. Uh, although, to be honest, the animation studio is Madhouse, so they're quite respectable, right? And to me, actually, the reason why I knew of this this series and why I wanted to watch it in the first place was because there are lots and lots of prominent voice actors in here. In fact, the two main characters, the male lead and female lead, are voiced by Sugita and Hanakana, respectively. So Sugita, if you guys didn't know, is the voice of Gintoki from Gintama. Hanakana, really, I don't think I need to introduce her, right? Like, she's done tons of stuff. I can't even... I can't even remember all of them, but anyways, and also one of my personal favorite uh, voice actors, Aimi, is also as a supporting cast, so I figured, well, why not give it a shot? Now, again, I'm <laughs> I'm a bit wary leery of this, to be honest, so I might end up just uh, watching it in my spare time instead and not making it into a series, but we shall decide on that after a few episodes. So without further ado, let's just jump right in to the anime. So let's begin in three, two, one, play. And I believe the game is actually going to be re releasing a second version called uh, Shometsu Toshi after... After... After what? After Lost. After Lost, yeah. Not quite sure how that differs from the original game, but... Okay, this animation is actually a little bit sucky. This is some janky animation, if I'm being honest. Okay, and this is the main female lead. Yuki. Oh, Nippon Budokan. Oh, 
à qui est là Ok. Hey, it's the moped. Or scooter. Okay. Was this the Akira dude? Like I said, action is one of the genres. And it's part main part of the game as well. Damn, really? How far can you jump? Alright, as with all first episodes, I will be looking through the opening, but I will be muting it. To avoid copyrights. Not quite sure if there's any, you know, like special abilities or supernatural abilities that can... Okay, well that just answered my question. Yes, there is. I quite like this opening. Guitar focused. So at least that answers the question. There are ability users and whatnot. After a Huh. Really? Really? That's an Apache? Looks like an Apache. And a All right, and here's an ability user. <laughs> okay. Kind of dangerous, dude. Okay, so the girl has abilities as well. Okay, so normal people don't know about this.
what kind of courier can infiltrate into a building and with armed armed guards break someone out and then deliver all this I mean, you're just a courier, aren't you? Oh, so that's why it's called After Lost? Alright. I like how they just call the event lost, right? Oh. Somehow, I think that's not the best course of action. So only a part of a city was removed, not an entire city. Quantum encryption. All right. So her father is like a researcher of some sort. Hmm. Don't know what to feel about this so far. SPR5. 
I believe they're an idol group within this universe. I s and so they're a they're an idol group. And since they're fo fully voice acted, uh, I believe the ending song is sung by the voice actors who make up this fictional idol group as well. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. Should you be giving this information out so freely? <laughs> sort of like taxi. <laughs> All right. Oh, she ran. Yeah, about that. Former lover or something? Found it? Well, that was pretty easy.
Well then, why run it in the first place? What? Ugh. I'm... What? And what's with this sudden background music? Really? Against a freaking attack helicopter? Yeah, you better have some backup plan, dude. What is that moped made out of? Holy crap! Really? How incompetent can you guys be? Yeah, if he's dead, then who's sending the message? Like, come on. This isn't a time to be saying something like that. Okay. Oh, Akira? Okay. <laughs> So I guess these kinds of spirit creatures or spirits are those that were lost during Lost. All right. Really? So he's supposed to die? Or something? Okay.
Okay. Not really sure what to think about this currently. And this ending doesn't really tell us anything new. It's just a recap of what happened within this episode. So, oh, Hana kind of sang this one? All right. Yeah, that scene there, I'm definitely feeling that maybe, uh, especially combined with the context from what the other researcher dude was saying before, they're probably all the people who disappeared during Lost. Alright. Alrighty, so that was Shometsu Toshi Episode 1. Uh, I guess it was an okay episode, right? Uh, let's let's quickly go through some of the key parts of this episode and what we know so far. So the event where essentially I guess half of the city disappeared was titled "The Lost" within this series and within this episode, and so we know that happened. And now Yuki is the sole survivor, and apparently her dad is someone who is related with all this and who's able to send out some special signal to the outsiders or to to people in the normal world right um and it does seem that yuki d comes from a fairly prominent family i'm guessing since she has her own bodyguard and all so at the very least she might have or her family is either wealthy influential or maybe they ha are you know high-ranking people doing some special experiments maybe the lost happened because of a failed experiment or of something or some sort um, also from context within this episode, we know that the, the people who use abilities or I guess the sort of spiritual characters that come out are titled the Tamashi and they, I'm guessing, are essentially the people who were who disappeared during the, during the lost event. Um, tamashi actually just means soul. Uh, I'm, but I'm not sure why the translators didn't just translate into soul here. Uh, maybe they... I don't know, maybe it's it's a different kind of wording or some sort, or maybe the translator just decided uh, translating a soul doesn't really make sense, so they didn't translate it. But anyways, it should mean soul, and, you know, especially since later on Yuki manifested her bodyguard Akira out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that is the... that is the answer, right? So these people who disappeared aren't really killed they haven't really died but they just exist in a different plane of existence something sort of like that um so that is that um in terms of the rest of the episode the animation it was a little bit janky at times but i think it was fairly okay for the most part definitely nothing to write home about but uh, it was okay the fighting scenes could have been a little bit more uh, stylized or a bit more stylish in the end it looked a little bit generic and a little looked a little bit copy paste but uh, it could improve right I mean it's not horrendous it's just nothing stellar um, to me most the the biggest gripe I have with this episode so far would be the characters and the way they are portrayed so especially like, you know, the whole part with Yuki just deciding to run off and then suddenly, just because of a few words by our main character Takuya, decide to say, okay, I, I want to trust this guy, so let's just go to, to the area of the lost. Like, come on, you, don't, you barely know Takuya and he didn't really say anything that insightful anyways, right? If, I don't know, it's, it's just... I'm not entirely sure like what that entire detour was for. It really didn't serve any purpose at all. It didn't show us more of their characters. It didn't even really make sense logically. So 
uh, I don't know. And, you know, why is Takuya suddenly uh, eager to deliver Yuki to the Lost, right? Is this something to do with his own morals, or is he thinking of something from the past? Like, what is the context for his character? I feel like instead of that entire scene where Yuki ran off, I would have liked to learn a little bit more, at least, about why Takuya decided to uh, take on this mission, especially since he had this conversation with Geek, um, which, you know, really could have served a good purpose for this. And if we know a little bit more about that, and then he can then use this to convince Yuki, say, yeah, I know this is a bad, a sucky situation, but here's what I think about it, and that's why you should go. I think that would make much more sense and be much more coherent than what was shown here, right? And as for the very end when they, uh, I guess, essentially was shot Takuya, right, his former partner or former girlfriend, former lover or something like that. Um, so obviously we know that Taki is not going to be dead, right? He's the main character. There's no way that he's dead from the first episode, uh, unless this suddenly turns into Isekai. But anyways, uh, what I'm thinking right now is that was either just a false alarm, um, she didn't really shoot him, but then again, since he's so messed up right now anyways with heavy injuries and all, uh, maybe it has something to do with him eventually gaining some special abilities as well. Otherwise, in this world where it seems that there is going to be a lot of action, what can a normal person like Takuya do, right? He can't do anything. And in fact, it's a miracle that he survived so far. Like, seriously, his moped and his moped skills are out of this world. I have no idea how a janky moped is able to withstand so much damage and even dodge you know, attack helicopter bullets, right? That was ridiculous. Um, and his driving skills were rid ridiculous as well. So maybe it's about time to give him some special abilities or some special powers so he can be of equal footing to the others. So I think that about covers my review and thoughts for this first episode. There's not really much that much to talk about. Uh, so far, it is about what I expected from a game-adapted anime. It's mediocre. Like, if you really like, if you are a fan of the game or whatnot, no, I'm not bashing the game or anything. I'm just saying that this adaption doesn't really do anything stellar as of right now. Um, but then again, like I said before, we need to give it a few more episodes to see how it's going to settle down, right? So this is just the first episode, establishing the world, establishing the characters. Could have done those things a little bit bit better but we haven't really gotten to the meat of the story right so i will continue to watch the next episode and make maybe make a decision a few weeks later as to whether i will continue to watch it although right now i'm not that convinced if i'm being entirely honest and so yep that concludes my review for episode one of shometsu toshi you've been watching musings of maverick and i'm your host maverick so until next time see you guys Bye-bye.